freedom of speech, which is the US First Amendment, and the freedom of expression, well, it's uh, important. I do believe it's important, although I've been criticised recently in that, oh, don't you believe in freedom of speech then? And I say to them, yes, I do believe in freedom of speech and, well, freedom of expression. But what I don't believe in is the freedom to misinform, to spread lies, propaganda and batshit crazy ideas. Well, John Kerry uh, made a... Well, he was interviewed. I feel it's like a group discussion type thing, a panel... And he had some views on this, which I'll share with you in a moment. But just to put this in some sort of context, the kind of batshit crazy ideas that are being uh, spread on social media, and especially Elon Musk's ex, formerly Twitter. And he's the worst of them all. Now, since I've been on it, uh, well, Twitter... I had very little issues whatsoever, but since Elon Musk has taken over, I've had so many problems. The amount of uh, fake accounts of scantily clad women who want to uh, follow me. You probably aren't scantily clad women, they're probably some fat, greasy bugger sitting in his mother's basement. You know how it goes, or a Russian actor. Well, if it ain't that, it's porn bots in my feet. I don't want that. And you get no... Well, you don't get a chance to actually not see it. Because, you know, the way, you know, Twitter or X, it works. You're scrolling through and there it is. You've seen it. It's too late. You have no choice. The same with Elon Musk. I don't want to see Elon Musk in my feed. But who am I getting? Elon Musk. Every single time I'm on there, it's getting forced in front of my face. Because Elon Musk has a tweet. Or his engineers have tweaked the algorithm in favour of Elon Musk. So he can spread his lies and misinformation and propaganda and conspiracy theories and uh, Donald Trump. Which is a whole load more lies, conspiracy theories, misogynism, etc, etc. And Roseanne Barr. Now I used to like watching Roseanne Barr, her and John Goodman. Yeah, on Roseanne. And it was, it was fun. It was a fun sitcom. But she has completely and utterly lost her mind. Maybe she's always been like that. Well, this is her uh, recent, um, blimey, her <sighs> <laughs> time on uh, you know Tucker Carlson. Babies. That is not bullshit. Let me just you repeat. know they eat babies. Is that is not bullshit. It's true. So it's not just the dogs and the cats, not just the pets. It's not just the dogs and the cats. Am I dreaming? I think you might be. They're full-on vampires. And everybody still thinks I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. What? Are you like a crazy person? Uh-huh. They're full-on oh, yeah. vampires. They love the taste of human flesh and they drink human blood. They do, Tucker. Stop staring at me like that. Freaking me out, man. Because they you do. spent your life in the entertainment business, so I think you have some authority on this. Endorsed her. So many kids that I was in mental institutions with over the years, they are all from those cults. And they've <sighs> covered it all up. they covered it all up and... Uh, okay. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Babies, that is not bullshit. It's true. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the Spanish laughing man. But there are people out there who are taking her seriously. And when you got Elon Musk and they're like spreading this stuff, and then Tucker Carlson giving her that platform, knowing full well what she's like and the stuff she's been spouting. It's not just that. It's loads of crap. She's full on up Trump's you know where, his derriere. She has to get past the nappy first, of course. You know it is. And so I understand why 
people like uh, John Kerry, when asked, to, makes this to, uh, and I think the, statement. The dislike of and anguish over social media is just growing and growing and growing. Uh, and it's part of our problem, particularly in democracies, uh, in terms of building consensus around any issue. It's really hard to govern today. You can't, you know, you know, there's no, the referees we used to have to determine what's a fact and what isn't a fact have kind of, you know, been eviscerated to a certain degree. And um, people go and that people self-select where they go for their news or for their information. And then you just get into a vicious cycle. So it's really, really hard, much harder to build consensus today than at any time in the 45, 50 years I've been involved in this. And, and. Uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion now about how you curb uh, those entities uh, in order to guarantee that you're going to have, you know, some accountability on facts, etc. Facts. Now, he's going on about facts, which obviously that's what we want. We, that's what news is supposed to be. News is supposed to be fact. Everything else is fiction. Rosie Ann Barr is spouting fiction, but she thinks it's fact. We need some form of, like you said, accountability and control of platforms, making them responsible to, well, prevent this madness being spread. It's, be it's like a disease. Now, Elon Musk, he referred to... Uh, the woke mind virus. Well, there certainly is a misinformation virus going out there. And it's running deep, it is. And no one seems to have a vaccine for it. Truth, honesty, fact, science. And all these hairbrain, all this craziness... It's been disguised by, uh, and spread by so-called evangelicals. These so-called evangelicals are apparently God-fearing people running around with AK-47s in the street. And flipping bury knives on their belt. There's, there's something not right there in the U.S., and we have got a very similar issue in the UK, in France, it's everywhere. And it's spreading like wildfire. It is a disease. A disease of the mind. Crazy, batshit crazy <laughs> mind virus or something like that. And something needs to be done and needs to be done fast. It's, it reminds me... Of a, of a film, Idiodacy. Did you see what it was called? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> and it's, um... It's just... I, I just don't... I think we're lost. I honestly think we're lost, because unless people like Elon Musk has that rug pulled out from underneath him and somebody pretty brave, and, you know, politicians, are, you know, and the leaders, uh, you know, prime ministers and presidents, are going to have to make that brave move. Because people like Elon Musk has got his fingers in too many pies and in governments. Now, some governments are standing up against him, such as Brazil. Now, the EU wants to stand up against him, but they're slow. They have to get the consensus of everybody. What about the UK? What's stopping the UK? The fact that they want investment in the UK. They want direct foreign investment, namely, in this case, Elon Musk, to invest in Tesla factories in the UK. Even though recently they kind of, like, shunned him by not inviting him to the uh, investment summit. And now Keir Starmer is speaking out and saying, oh, no, we would like your money. <laughs> now, although we might joke about these things, and, and, you know, that... Roseanne Barr clip, it is funny as hell, so it gets spread. And I spread it because it's funny. And I thought, crikey, and it's providing us with ammunition. The problem is people aren't listening, as you see, it's funny, and not actually as dangerous. These people are 
dangerous. They are infecting the minds of ordinary folk. Simple folk, you know. It might be decent folk. But quite easily swayed into believing stuff that just is not true. It's like the crap that was being spread by uh, Andrew Tate. That Emmanuel Macron's wife was actually a man. It's just madness. The problem is people believing this stuff. Even though they, these people are found out to be liars and cheats, they're still clinging on for that next lie. People are fundamentally broken if, if they're following this line of their search or their version of truth. It's a problem. Now, people might say to me, no, you shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, have any controls on this. Let people say whatever they like, blah, blah. No, I'm sorry. I don't buy into that. I really don't. Because it's a whole load of baloney that's been spread out there and people are believing it and it's damaging democracy. You can't have democracy that will work for the people based on lies, misinformation and propaganda. This is so undemocratic, it is unreal. The outcomes are poor, they're poor. Now these people making all these false promises, we've got, we've got it with the Reform Party, making false promises beyond how we're going to stop the people on the boats landing in Calais, in Kent. Based on lies, misinformation, and misunderstanding of the, of the facts such as international law. But we do need a level of control. And that level of control needs to be based on known facts. Not hearsay, not rumour, not batshit crazy conspiracy theories that have been platformed by Elon Musk, Tucker Carlson. You see it on TikTok, uh, Rumble. Uh, spread via Telegram, although uh, the owner of Telegram, the CEO of Telegram, the Russian geezer who's arrested in France, is all of a sudden making statements that he's uh, going to change uh, Telegram and uh, all these new policies and he's going to have some censorship and stuff like that because he's scared that he's going to get locked up. That just tells me these people already know what they're doing is wrong. Elon Musk, he knows that it's all crazy madness. He knows that the man's not any, isn't a real, he ain't a, few, a, a fool. Although he's high on ketamine these days. But he's not a fool. He knows what he's doing. He knows what to do to uh, put a touch paper under his, his new base. To get them riled up. It's like people are hungry for the next lie. And you tell me what you think. Please leave it in the comments down below. Do you think. It's got to a point now. That maybe we should. Have some form of censorship. Based on truth. Things that can be. Fact checked. Not just hearsay. Or if it is here saying it's found to be untrue, those people have to face some sort of consequence for spreading mistruth. There has to be some there has to be a cutoff point to what is real and what is not. You tell me, please leave it in the comments down below. Totally. Oh yeah, don't forget, we're doing a rewilding here in France where we're planting trees. A thousand trees on two hectares land, but part of that is good for me link down below and you can have a tree and I'll plant a tree on your behalf. <gasps> Whew, I'll make a sign to go with that tree, we don't want to remember your loved one. But also, let's say for instance you don't want to send cards or presents. How about having a tree planted in the ground here in France, yeah? With your name on. That's a Prezi. Maybe. It might be a nice idea.
Do loop, but don't forget, comment down below. And boop that like button, helps the channel, you know.